Now the day bleeds into nightfall And you're not here to help me through it all I let my guard down and you pull the rug I was getting kinda used to being someone you love Someone you love Oh my bad, <laughs> yo I didn't even know this shit was recording Let's get it Yo, it's your boy King Leo. I'm from the 516. Yo, are we in the land of the free, home of the brave? Nah, it's the land of the weak, home of the slaves. Y'all already know what it is. Yeah, uh, yo. I had to admit myself to the hospital twice. Ain't never worried about dying because I'm covered by Christ. That's Before right. I got sick, I stopped taking multivitamins. They turning this shit into a maneuver like the Heimlich. Emergency. Follow my lead, exercising good diet. That's gonna strengthen your immune system enough to fight it. Guess what? I got the cure for AIDS. What's guys that? Matter of fact, I got the cure for age. Oh, okay. I ain't never been the type to believe everything. I'm so yeah, what's up guys? Today we're gonna talk about Nick Cannon. And what went down with his situation. Okay. So, in a nutshell, guys, look. Nick Cannon is his own boss. Okay. He doing his, he been doing his own thing for a while. When Viacom said that they fired him, I'm thinking to myself, uh, you fired who? <laughs> fired who? Uh, um, somebody that could do for himself? Uh, they fired a multimillionaire. They fired the brains behind Wildin' Out. That's who you fired? The point, of, the point of this video, guys, to let you know that if you're a black entrepreneur, do your own thing. Stop being stop being under white people. I'm, I'm tired of you rich black men, especially, okay? I'm tired of you rich black men being under white people and calling yourself a boss. You are not a boss. I don't care how many millions of, of dollars that you make working under the white man. You're not your own boss if you're working under the white man. Okay? Now, for, for, for my white fans out there, you know, for the people that support me, I, I have nothing against you. I got absolutely nothing against you. But we live in a day and age where anybody and everybody has the ability to be a boss you could be an asian boss you could be a black boss you could be a, a, a hispanic boss you know uh the, the the company that i used to work for years ago uh when around when i first came down to texas was um rudy's tortillas rudy's tortillas is owned by mexican bosses okay straight up they straight up uh bosses okay and that's the that's the day and the age that we live in. Everybody has the ability to do for self and, and do their own thing. We got Robin Hood. You know, uh, we got the cat. You can invest in the stocks with cash app. Literally, there is no excuse for you to be your own success story. Like there is there is nothing holding us back. Well, the, well, actually, the only thing holding holding us back now is knowledge. OK, so. As a, as a black entrepreneur, what you can do is you can invest in the stocks, okay? You can invest in the stocks. You can, tr you can trade on the Forex market as well. You can become your own. Your own uh, you could get your capital that way, and then eventually you can invest in the different franchises like a McDonald's or a Burger King or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, so getting back to the whole Nick Cannon situation. Viacom fired him. Because of what he said about blacks being the real Jews, you know, being the the real um, you know people of the sun or something like that, and you know what he said was true. What he said was true, but Nick, you are working under white people. And if you're working under white people, then you should have known that that would have been offensive. But I will applaud I will applaud uh, Nick Cannon for what he said, because we already know he doesn't need Viacom to be financially stable, man. He doesn't need Viacom. And I believe that's why he said what he said. Let's call it what it is. I think I think Nick Cannon is tired. 
I think he's just tired, you know what I'm saying? Like just like the rest of us. We're tired of we're tired of white people being over us, breathing down our fucking necks. And like I said, I don't got nothing against no fucking body, man. Excuse my language. I don't got nothing against nobody. But we're no longer slaves. We have way too many black millionaires and billionaires today than we ever had in the history of this country. Okay? So the point I'm, I'm trying to say is that we have no excuse to still be working under the white man. You know what I'm saying? And I understand it's a mindset. You know, it, it you know, um, a lot of us, well, most of us, we were brought up to think that to work at Walmart or to work at Target, you know, these white owned businesses, these white owned corporations, we were literally taught that that's the way you should go about life. But it's not. It's not. The way you should go about life is try your hardest to become an entrepreneur. And if you don't care to become an entrepreneur, that's okay too. But make sure you have multiple streams of income. Because look, I know about people that are okay, 100% okay working at T-Mobile. It doesn't, for me, that doesn't make any sense. But I'm not everybody. I'm not her. I'm not that uh, that woman. I'm not this guy. I'm me. I'm better off being my own boss. That's why I don't work for nobody, guys. I'm an independent contractor, and I do. I'm doing really, really good. I'm doing really, really good. I'm 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 doing I'm doing good. I'm moving up in life. Okay. But um, if you don't mind working for the white man or, or working for these white-owned corporations. That's fine. Just make sure you have multiple streams of income because God forbid you get fired. You know what I'm saying? God forbid you get, uh, God forbid you get fired for no reason. You need something to uh, to fall back on. That's all I'm saying. You could do forex trading. I'm gonna in the future, guys. I'm gonna give you uh, links and I'm gonna give you information on on um, different ways that you can make money outside of just working for big corporations. Okay. So tell me what you think about this video. Um, before I finish this video, I just want to say shout outs to uh, Nick Cannon for standing for, for saying what he felt was right. Because we already know freedom of speech is dead, especially when you black. And um, um, freedom of speech is really only dead when you're talking about the people that dominate. The people that control other people's lives. That's the only time it's wrong. You know, that's the only time it's wrong. Uh, whether you're speaking the truth or not. But anyway, I applaud Nick Cannon for speaking up. You, you, you did the right thing. Um, technically, Viacom shouldn't have fired you because there, there used to be a such thing in this country called freedom of speech. We know it's dead, but it's cool. Nick Cannon, do your own thing. Do like Diddy, okay? Do like Diddy. Start your own, start your own businesses, your own talk shows, do you, okay? Last time I checked, Byron Allen is killing it out here. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. It's your boy King Leo. Y'all already know what it is. Deuces. Hella paper flowing to me from separate sources. So much dope in the bank, it's hard to count the losses. The last of a giant breed, yeah, I'm talking bosses. Made of money, I made of money. Hella paper flowing to me from separate sources. So much dope in the bank, it's hard to count the losses. The last of a dying breed, yeah, I'm talking bosses. Made of money, I made of money. You can keep that $30, boy, I made of money. That's lesson learned.